Good morning, Ellen Temple. Good morning. God, we thank you for another opportunity to be able to come in your house of worship and give you honor, glory, and praise. Yes. To our presiding elder, the right Reverend Samuel Lawrence Green Senior, our bishop. To our presiding elder, the Reverend Judy M. Richardson. The pastor, Reverend James E. C. Speed, and First Lady Deborah Speed. We praise you. We thank you. I greet you in the name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. 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 To the WMS, the YPD, the Usher, the choir, and the musicians, thank you. To my wife, Barbara and our daughters, Lakia and Mackenzie. Thank you, God, for the wonderful opportunity to be a husband and a father. Amen. Amen. Before we move into this morning, this morning's sermon, let's pray, please. <coughs> Heavenly Father, I stand before your presence. Me, you know, and thankful for allowing me to stand in the place where preaching happened. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart and my soul be acceptable in thy sight. Thy strength, thy redeemer, thy keeper. Continue to walk with all of us. first in everything we say and do in that. Continue to hold us in the palm of your hand as we put our love and trust in you. This is your honor service prayer request in Jesus' name. Yes, I heard you call. Here I am. That's 
That's what it done. Yeah. Like that guy was calling the poet. So Eli directed him to go back and lay down. If you hear that voice call again, tell God to speak. I am your servant, ready to listen. Samuel returned to his bed. Then God came and stood before him as exactly as he did before. Calling out Samuel, Samuel. Samuel responded this time and said, Speak, Lord. I am your servant. I am ready to listen. God said to Samuel, listen carefully. I'm getting ready to do something in Israel that is going to shake everyone and everything up and get their attention. The title of the sermon this morning is Answering Your Call. By the show of hands, how many people got cell phones on, on, them, on their persons this morning? Raise your hand. What numbers do you have in your favorite tag? <laughs> Is it your loved ones? Is it your favorite carry-out restaurant? <laughs> Is it your favorite entertainment venue? Is it someone you gossip with? <laughs> Is it someone you call need a word. I came by today to let someone know that Jesus is on the main line. Yeah. Yeah. Capital J, capital E, yeah. capital S, capital U, capital S. I don't need Sprint. I don't need Verizon. I don't need who? I don't need Netflix. I need to hear from Jesus. My father, my will in the middle of the week. I need his spirit. I need his power. I need his wisdom. I need his love. Lord, don't put me on hold. I need to be in your contact. Here I am, Lord. I am, I'm at 1 800 Allen Temple. Here I am, Lord. I am at 1 800 Your Servant. Here I am, Lord. I'm at 1 800. Put me in, God. I don't want to sit idle on the side when the harvest is plenty. Take your phones out. Take them out. You heard them right. Take them out. <laughs> Go to your contact list <laughs> and, and hit add new contact. <laughs> <laughs> Upon the name, put Jesus. <laughs> Upon the phone number, put 1 800 Hill. 1 800 Master. 1 800 Provide. 1 800 Waymaker. 1 800 I Am Alpha and Omega. Every knee shall bow before my presence. Press done. When you need Jesus in your Bible, it's not handy. Go to your favorite tab and hit sin. Jesus is on the main line. In our text, in our text, we answer the call of God. We answer the call of God by surrendering unto Him, dedicating our life unto Him, putting Him first in our thoughts. Actions and deeds. You see, Samuel knew who he was, and even though all matters and unfairness was going on around him, he understood the call God had on his life. Israel was living up under poor leadership, not being faithful to God. One minute they was faithful, one minute they was unsure. God was raising up Samuel to lead his people. Samuel, who was a young boy who was brought up in the church, but he had not yet experienced God. 
for himself. I grew up attending church, but I had not heard the voice of the Lord, of the Lord until I matured. I never forget the first time I heard God's voice. All right. It scared me. I remember exactly where I was and what I was doing. I was in my grandmother's house. This is when Zakia was about one year old. And I was trying to figure out things. I had been blessed with the opportunity to go to school and serve in the United States Navy and, and come back home and, and, and graduate from ITT. But still, I was lost. Something was missing inside of me. I was driving down the same roads each and every day. I was good, but I wasn't really doing nothing for God. Mm. God spoke to me. It literally blew me away. I started seeing visions and tunnels and places and things to swim past me before I know it, I was on the ground. I ain't telling you this to be saying this. I'm telling you because it's the truth. Even though I get scared each time, every time it's time for me to preach. He prepares me, he strengthens me for the journey. I double dare you to call on the name of Jesus. God, I'm gonna say what took you so long. I've been waiting on you to call me. Number two, we answer God's call by establishing a relationship with him. I serve him. It's not what we do on Sunday. It's not what we do on Wednesday. It's not what we do during prayer call. It's each and every day we give God our service, our reasonable duty. Unto Him, we're supposed to worship and praise our daily. In season, out of season. 